I was in Europe somewhere. I was with a great group with Dave Holland and Marvin Smitty Smith, who actually became the drummer in the Tonight Show Band. And uh, we were we were on tour somewhere. And uh, I think it was at the North Sea Festival. And uh, there's that in, in Holland, in Den Haag, somewhere right there. Um, and Bramford was there with his band, and we were crisscrossing each other, you know. So we were either at an airport or somewhere, and he's saying, uh, um, "Hey, man, um, you know this, uh, um, you know Tonight Show thing is gonna gonna happen. And, you know Jay Leno's gonna be, with it, you know, and I need a guitar player for the band. You want to do it?" And um, I said. Yeah, but I mean, you know, we're on tour now. Can you call me like when I'm home and we can talk about what that really means? And he's like, oh, it's not going to happen for a while, man. I just, need, you know, I just got to put somebody down for it. You know, I got to have a band, you know. I said, yeah, put me down for it, you know. So um, eight months later, um, I, I haven't heard from Ranford because we're all touring. We're doing our thing. And, uh, and then I was uh, living in Allentown, Pennsylvania at the time. Um, and I get a call from Bramber, he says, yo, bro, we got to be in L.A. in two weeks. You know, we start test shows and the whole thing. And uh, he said, you're still doing it, right? Can we talk, Mick? <laughs> you know? And um, he said, oh, man, just coming out, man. It's cool. I got you and the whole thing. I'll send you some stuff. You know, and then, you know, papers started coming and the whole thing. I said, all right, I'm going to come out there. We'll figure this all out. And uh, so I uh, closed up my house. And um, moved to LA in, in two weeks. And you know, my brothers were, and, <laughs> and my neighbors, you know, they couldn't believe it. They like, what? So, well, you know, you can have the TV and you can have the couch and you can, you know, and they were like, cool. <laughs> so um, that's the easiest way. If you need to move, tell everybody they can have everything in your house. You'll have movers like that. And uh, so then I wound up in, uh, in Burbank. And um, so we started work. I thought, well, I'll do it for like five years, and then I'll get back to going on the road and making records again, and and, and do that, you know. So, but I mean, what what did I know, you know? Um, so, yeah, I thought it would be over in five years, you know, because mm -hmm. that was the contract. It was for this amount of time. I said, oh well, you know, five years that'll that'll do me, and and you know, I'm so. You know, it was like The Tonight Show, and you know, and I was a big Johnny Carson fan, and Doc Seventeen, and Tommy Newsom, and you know, Clark Terry, and everybody, and the Skids. You know, I was just a big fan of the show anyway, and I was like, I just have to see what's behind the curtain. You know, what what is this? I just thought it was amazing to have a a uh, opportunity to see to see this in person and and all that. So I was so excited about it, and um, you know, and I was just in a band. So I wasn't the band leader, I was just in a band, so I was like, well, all I gotta do is write arrangements for the band, which is what I'm used to doing anyway. And, you know, uh, so I was like, okay, let's, let's do it. So that, that's how it started, was that. 